It's good YouTube. I'm Lenny. He's Carl. And this hey. is Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4 Part 11. We're gonna get started real quick here with Ivan, the not so terrible. Hey, Mickey, what do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. The guy you saw me talking to. This guy. This guy. Oh, yes. You guys had the little kids. Very funny. What would you say if I told him he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey. Hey, hey, gorgeous. No. I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I mean, underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry! Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame, then, that I'm the guy with the powerful friends, and you're the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking calf! So... Why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Fauci. Offended him. He think he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. And what if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> that Mr. Fauci will be very angry with you. And your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now, go wait for him by the car depot. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about it. So when we started, the initial recording we had was like 40 seconds over 15 minutes. So we tried to cut out like 40 seconds out of this. So we ended up cutting out the, like a little bit of the chase scene. We wanted to keep some of the chase scene in. So we cut out us driving to the garage, which is just a couple blocks. And then just a couple blocks into the chase scene as you just saw there. So sorry about that, but we wanted to get this uh, to 15 minutes. He didn't miss. Yeah. We didn't uh, miss much, or you and didn't. We you didn't miss much. You see this in the best quality possible. Yeah. So, uh, fun fact about the car we are driving. This is the car that we just robbed in the last mission. Clean getaway. Man, dude, I love fun facts. You know that cats and dogs are the right and left-handed, like us. It's just like people. Yeah. Cat is dude. awesome. One more step, and be playing the apes all. Yeah, planet of the dog and cat. Well, dogs would obviously be. Well, you know, some, <laughs> some dogs are stupid, you know, like cats are just playing that way, you know, when they, when they act stupid. So Ivan just crashed his car here, and we are going to go chase him. And another uh, quick thing we want to talk about here is the his car. It's like a specially colored Runer, I believe the name of the car is. And if uh, when he crashes the car, when Ivan goes up that first ladder, he's not gonna, just gonna keep going. He'll actually wait for you just because of what the just that's that's how the game plays. So if you want his car, you can get into his car and drive the car back around to actually where this uh, mission is gonna end. So then when you get off of the building, the car will just be sitting right there, and you can take it if you if you really want his car. We didn't do that because well I didn't want his car <laughs> to be honest so this is the last mission we will be taking from Vlad and you will see why in the next mission and yeah, spoiler at, alert well the title of the video is kind of a spoiler alert too I guess well some people didn't read the title you know like me <laughs> oh you ready for this dude I, I bet I can do this oh parkour parkour Barrel roll. Sometimes life just calls for a barrel roll. Those are two of those times. Those would be one of those times. And who leaves their wood on the build? Somebody go come get their wood. They left their wood on the roof. There ain't yes. no land for you All right. Gosh. All right. Uh, we're nearing the end of this mission. Actually, this is the first mission where oh my God, Ivan just fell off the edge there. 
that clutch a... island. I was gonna say that. <laughs> so you gotta pick whether you want to. You can choose Ivan's fate, whether you want to save him or step on his fingertips and watch him Choices. fall to his death. Choices. That's why I love about this game. That's what you get with this game, and I like that option too. I do too. So we're well, thinking about it here. I don't know how long we think about it. I don't think it's that long. Oh, there, and we save him. Woohoo! We're not as heartless as some other people. Once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of Hove Beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here. Wanted to live anyway, get away from all these people from back home. Get into the real America. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. So Ivan's gonna stay out of Hope Beach because, uh, actually, it doesn't even kind of make any sense to, uh, kill him because Vlad was actually lying. He never, uh, uh, angered Faustin. Vlad just wanted him dead, so, uh, there's no reason to kill him, so we're gonna listen to Vlad's phone call. You Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough pussy at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man, because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Mallory, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and I will break you! So we're gonna cut directly to the next mission, which is Uncle Vlad. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh. What about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this war dog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! Alright, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! <laughs> Dang, Nico is pretty pissed. So, yeah, that last mission, Ivan the Terrible, uh, the title is probably a reference to the, uh, Russian, uh, dictator, leader, guy in the 1500s. The funny thing about this mission, though, is that this is actually the first mission, and the only mission, that, uh, Vlad appears out of a cutscene. Like, the only time you see him in a game is in a cutscene, except for this mission, so it's just kind of funny. Two. We're gonna watch a quick cutscene of Comrades Bar, and this is the only mission you get to see the inside, or you get to play as like Nico inside the bar. So it's not funny. Thing. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do capusto. Зачем нужно жрать капусту, если есть картошка? Hey, картошка, bloody boy! I like the word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Why? I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. Excuse me. Do you think I give a fuck, peasant? Oh, there he is. Hey, Fadi. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking ho. <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we just talk about this? <laughs> you stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. <sighs> now, get them out of here. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had some uh, controller issues in the middle of the uh, cutscene there, so... Anyway, you don't have to fight these guys. Uh, you can just run out the front door and get back into your car and chase down Vlad. 
I like how he's taking him for a ride. See him? <laughs> the, yeah, the Vlad's guy was holding on to the uh, car. He so, was determined. <laughs> yeah, he was determined to get us. <laughs> he took him for a ride. Yeah, this is a very pivotal uh, mission in this game. Pretty dramatic. Turning point. The climax. The Maybe not the whole climax of the game, but definitely the whole climax of the beginning events of the game. If you want to put it like that. The middle climax. The middle climax? Yes. The if climax before the actual climax. The pre-climax. So, so it just messes you all up. The pre-climax so and the post-climax. I know my Because Rockstar likes to mess you up like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you'll see what happens uh, once we get to the end here. This is a pretty long cutscene, but you should enjoy it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I personally think this is my favorite cutscene. No I'm joke. Well, what about when he was walking, when Jermaine was walking to the car? That's true. I take it back. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down! You won't last a moment! I'll last longer than you will, shithead! Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man! Mikhail Fausti thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge. You are nothing in this city. You will be crashed. Hoff Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. You're a big boy, Vladdy. Nico! Uh, well, I guess this is over. What have you done? Who does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to become your halt in the jump! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! 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 When I was in the army, we were going on a mission to ambush a squad who had killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies, but we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village, but one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup for money. Twelve people died, three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruin anyway! No! Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. I feel fast and he's going to kill us! Shit! We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. Was that awesome? Anyway, this has been Carl Roy, and we'll see you in part two.
12. 